Vice President Kamala Harris made history yesterday, officially becoming the first woman of color at the top of a major party ticket. Now the attention turns to who she could choose as her running mate. And Bradley Blackburn is joining us live from the newsroom with the latest on all of it. Bradley. Doug Lane, Vice President Harris crossed that historic threshold Friday afternoon, securing the majority of Democratic delegates in a virtual roll call vote. And while she weighs her choice for a potential vice president this weekend, former President Trump and J.D. Vance are hitting the campaign trail. The history-making moment happened online, with Vice President Kamala Harris clinching the Democratic nomination in a virtual roll call vote. We are going to win this election. Harris will travel to seven battleground states next week to rally supporters. Her campaign pulled in $310 million in July. Now she's focused on her running mate, meeting with candidates this weekend. President Biden said he's spoken to her about the decision, but wouldn't say what qualities she should look for. I'll let her work that out. The short list includes Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg, Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir, Minnesota Governor Tim Walz, Governor J.B. Pritzker of Illinois, Senator Mark Kelly from Arizona, and Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro, who on Friday took on former President Trump's running mate. J.D. Vance is a total phony baloney. Vance and Trump are planning another joint rally today in Georgia. Trump now trying to tie Harris to the issues at the southern border. I think she's a horrible candidate because she wants open borders. She was a border czar. She tries to, you know, deny that now, which is not working. In a social media post, Trump said he has agreed to debate Harris on Fox News September 4th. It's not clear if the Harris campaign has confirmed, but she has said she's ready to debate. A debate between former President Trump and President Biden had been scheduled on ABC in September, but Trump changed course after Biden dropped out of the race. And Trump, Trump says because he is now suing ABC for defamation. Doug and Elaine. All right, Bradley, thank you.